all of that drama kind of led up to um, a great introduction. Because did you hear what Martini says? She said, Peaches, you better get off the stage before my own man gets home. Oh my god, look, here she comes right now. Because there's that great scene in Coffee where, where, where the woman warns Coffee. My old man is coming back any minute, and if she catches you here, she's going to want to kick your ass. ass. And then this big butch bull dagger, like lesbian, just bursts through the door. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Because it's like, it's, you know, it, and that woman is gorgeous. She's yeah, wearing yeah. those tight jeans, and, and she and Coffee go at it. So Puta comes in driving a car. You're in a car driving That's a car. very fancy, exclusive car. Yes. Yeah. Trey Chic Mobile. It looks very expensive. really, really fun driving on up to your bumper, honey. And the, the song Car Wash started. And uh, we danced around, and you know, Puta, to, in my opinion, is one of the best lip sync artists around. For your money, she she can really uh, do a great drag number. Well, it was really exciting driving up to the stage to, you know, meet up with Peaches and Martini and, you know, knowing that all these fabulous hookers were behind me clapping and cheering and all that good stuff. And then I got up to the stage and it was just like showgirls. Peaches Christ literally put salad, not just on Martini, but all over the stage. So when I got up on the stage, my heel actually cracked. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, Vicious. Vicious actually, Christ. It was one of those moments where you, you, when you're planning and you're rehearsing, you don't actually rehearse dumping salad over someone's head. Like during the rehearsal, you're kind of like, and this is where I'll pour the salad on you. And this is where we'll have the blood in my hands. So you don't realize what iceberg lettuce mixed with, you know, theatrical blood and on heat, a, on a stage. lots of heat <laughs> and light. What kind of an environment? Big that's heels. Yeah, Sorry, it was slippery. Girl. It was very slick up and there. And you couldn't move around. It was pretty terrifying. It was a blood salad, yeah. and it was um, dangerous. Well, it was very Midnight Mass with Peaches Christ. If this is an old school Midnight Mass pre-show, isn't it? It feels yeah, like absolutely. the girls bring all the talent and the humor. They look gorgeous. Mm. Half the audience is saying, like, isn't there a movie? <laughs> is this a movie, dude? What's going on? Now don't get excited. Just so you the audience know what's going on, Putinesca and Martini are actually awarding someone tonight the title of Miss SF Hooker. So this, this is actually serious, you know, what we're doing here. This is, a, this is the kind of title that could really take you places. This whole show, uh, you know, despite our, our flawless number at the beginning, we really didn't have much of a show if, if people didn't, you know, really bring it, as they say. And the audience tonight, wow. I was so thrilled with how many hookers showed up. Out of nowhere, it was like tons and tons of hookers. Oh my God, there's more hookers than audience members. <laughs> <laughs> Some of it was drag, you know, you could tell. Some of it was, you know, costume. But a lot of those people were real hookers. So thank you, Desiree Honeybush. She says she should win because her butt is so big. You cannot spell holy without ho. Thanks, everyone. It's Holy McGraw! Veronica Lewinsky. Let's hear it for Sean Arexia, everybody. A good time floozy girl, Sean Arexia exists on a diet exclusively of gin. Hobbies include blacking out. Posting bail and covering up bruises with foundation. Let's hear for John Michael, tight shaft. <laughs> Becky Motorlot, Dirty Sanchez. It's Prima Donna Reed. And she used her fame and $10 prize money to open Prima Donna Reed's finishing school for sluts who want to be whores. Her teaching staff is made up of 15 children from her own failed abortions. I'm afraid to keep reading, to be totally honest. You know, I thought to myself, we're gonna do coffee, we're gonna do a pre-show, it's not even gonna be that offensive. <laughs> that was so wrong. More than anything, except crystal meth, 
Prima Donna wants to be Miss SF Hooker. Next up is Marina Bitch, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Syphilis Diller! Let's hear for BB Sweetbriar. It's Cookie Dough! We're gonna have a real cat fight tonight. The De Young Museum is um, doing a party for me. They're doing a, a retrospective, 10 years of Peaches Christ at the De Young Museum. And um, I keep telling them, like, you have nothing to worry about, because they're kind of freaking out. And I'd like to personally invite all of you to that party. <laughs> they think I'm an artist. It's hilarious. And this is actually very true to the spirit of Midnight Mass. This friend, this coworker of Dupuis, uh, said he was bringing his 11-year-old nieces and nephews from Britain and asked if the show would be family-friendly. <laughs> and we said that it would. Just because we were like, give them an American experience and tell those kids that this is what going to the movies is like in America. <laughs> so, I mean, up on stage. I guess, I guess maybe they're traumatized. You see these TV cameras that are here shooting us for national television? <laughs> You know, I should enjoy that De Young Museum gig because my career is pretty much over. But I really love that at Midnight Mass, you know, for, for a John Waters film once we, we crowned someone the filthiest person alive. And you know, that title really, that title is, that person's very still well respected. <laughs> yeah, title. To this day, that person actually has not shed the title filthiest person alive, and it sort of created a little bit of a career for her. We're about to crown the first ever Miss SF Poker. Martini and Puta, please announce who it's going to be. One, two, three. It's me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the new crowning Miss Hooker SF. <laughs> SF Holy McGrath! And I'm kind of thrilled tonight to know that we've created a brand new title here, and it's that of Miss SF Hooker. And really, I mean, Holy McGrail, she can put that on a resume. Absolutely. She could, you know, <laughs> she could probably, I mean, that's something that, you know, a, a, the other hookers aren't going to be able to say that they were crowned Miss SF Hooker. So I feel like we did something important, you know, tonight. But not, not just for Holy, but really for the community. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we present you with the first ever Miss SF Hooker! you've seen coffee. Okay. Those who haven't, prepare yourselves for the most vicious, coolest, kick-ass cat fight ever put to celluloid. It's amazing. Thank you all for coming. Good night. We'll see you next week. I love you all. Thank you. Good night.